Hi everyone, my name is Twinkle and welcome back to brand new episode on my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to cover one of the most requested topics and one of the root causes for a lot of people to not build up their confidence during interviews, which is nervousness. I see a lot of people texting me, messaging me, ranting, talking whenever we have one-on-one -on -one also with all the aspirants. They have one common issue, common problem that when they say that I feel nervous in my interviews, I feel nervous, I'm not very confident. What should I do to cope up my nervousness? How should I become confident? These questions are constantly in their mind. And what is even more surprising is that they come up with the, the same problem even when they're very prepared. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a few tips that can help you create a mindset shift and can also help you to cope up with the nervousness and make you feel more confident from within. So if you're someone who's interested, if you are someone who wants to become confident and deal with your nervousness, then you must watch this video until the end. But before that, if you like the kind of videos I make, if you find them worth watching, if they are helpful to you in any case, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like these videos and share it with someone who needs to see this. Let's start the video. Let me first of all tell you that being nervous and being a little worried about an event like an interview or any other event is normal. It only shows that you're serious about it and you have some stakes there. So it's good to be nervous. What is not good is that the nervousness should not be able to overpower your ability to perform and it affects your performance. That is something that we need to control. So when we need to think about what is affecting our confidence, why do we get nervous? We need to first figure out that what is the root cause of the problem? Because if we deal with the root cause, then we'll be able to uh, cope up with the nervousness also. So let's talk about what is the root cause of the nervousness. This is the fear, the fears that we all have within us. Now, every single person has some fear, some control it, some overcome it, and some are just not able to deal with it because they don't address it. Why? Because there is some sort of embarrassment or some sort of pain, some sort of painful memory attached to it. And as a human being, we always want to run away from it. We don't want to face our fears and because of which it always stays within us and keeps affecting our performance, our thinking, our ability to learn and perform and just be confident. So when we talk about fears, what are those three to four fears that we all have that is affecting our performance? Before that, I need you all to stop this video at this moment and comment below uh, in the comment section with what all fears do you have when you're going for your cabin crew interview or any interview in general or any important event. Because I am 100% sure that whatever fears I'm going to cover in this video is going to be common for all of you. Now I'm sure the fears that I'm going to highlight here are the most common fears that you all must have uh, either written or uh, must be in the back of your mind. And the number one fear that tops the list is fear of personal appearance, fear of the way you look and the judgment that is attached to it. Um, you have questions like what will they think about us or uh, what if they don't like this in me or what if they don't like that in me. So fear of personal appearance which is also connected to embarrassment and uh, of course affects your performance. Another fear that is there is fear of judgment, fear of what will others think about me if I don't get the job or uh, yet again I get rejected or what about my next uh, step if I keep getting rejected, I don't have enough time or uh, what will my relatives say, what will my parents say and how much time are you going to put into this, the fear of what will others say if I keep uh, not performing, if I don't perform to a certain uh, standard or uh, if I still don't make it or uh, I have to again go ahead and do and repeat the same drill again and again then what will they think about me what am i going to do next i i don't have enough time left with me um, this is one of the most like biggest fear that people have in their mind of what will others think about me and what will they say about me fear number three is that uh, the fear of not getting the job which is the fear of rejection that what if i don't get the job what if i get uh, rejected once again 
what is my next next step going to be what if the recruiters don't like me what if they are not nice to me what if i fumble what if i don't perform to a certain level having basically a very very negative mindset uh, because you have this fear of uh, rejection already even before uh, while you're preparing or even before uh, meeting the recruiters while you're standing in a queue while you are about to meet the recruiters and fear number 4 is what if i say the wrong thing in front of them what if i don't understand the question or what if they ask me something that i am not sure of what if uh, i just am not able to say a single word or what if i forget in between what if this what if and the fear of saying wrong things or just not saying anything and freezing is already freaking you out so all these fears combined with your negative mindset does not let you perform to a certain standard comment below if you have any other fears apart from the one i mentioned that are not interconnected and let me tell you how are you supposed to cope up with this cope up with the embarrassment the nervousness attached to all these fears well you take care of your fears and you cope up with the nervousness by taking care of them by addressing them and by not running away from them so if you remember how it used to happen in our childhood also or when we were in schools if we had to finish a piece of work and if we don't do it then we would try to avoid it because we fear the embarrassment that we will get scolded or we will have to face the embarrassment of of being questioned and we not having a proper response and what others uh, around you would think that situation the fear of being in that situation is embedded and on the other hand there are some people who don't really care about what others will say even if they do the intensity is not to that extent So if you're someone for example who has a fear of personal appearance go ahead and check out what is that thing that you are conscious of is it your attire that you're not comfortable with maybe whatever shirt you're wearing is not to a uh, an appropriate standard what if the skirt you wear is literally very tight is not looking very nice it's not as per standards what if your shoes are ill fitted you are not confident with your grooming Uh, you're not happy with your hair, or you're not happy with your weight, or height, or whatever it is. If you're conscious about your weight, if you're conscious about the way you talk, you're conscious about your expressions, height, weight, grooming, attire, dress, whatever it is. If there is something that is, there is a stone that is left unturned, and you feel that no, I really am not comfortable with this. Go ahead. change it you don't know how how to dress up then learn how to dress up if you don't know how to select clothing or get pictures click learn how to do them if you don't know how to do your hair properly learn them work on it because the moment you work on it and you get confidence from there it is going to reflect in your performance whether it's a nice pair of jeans whether it's a nice pair of trousers or a good fitted shirt whether it's the cologne that you want to buy or if you want to work on your grooming you have to take a step action is going to give you results and the results are going to give you motivation to perform even better so go ahead and dress to impress don't dress mediocre dress two steps ahead put in that effort don't dress like you're going for a freshers interview if you are a fresher dress like you're an experience if you are an experienced person dress like you're going for a managerial interview just go ahead and do extra because that is going to make you feel very very good about yourself and that is going to definitely reflect in your performance and make you feel very confident if you're someone who has fear of saying wrong things uh well this is the most common thing i get from candidates i've been training a lot of aspirants and one complaint or one fear that i usually get is that they're scared of what if i say this or what if i say that or whenever they are actually performing and we are simulating they during their performance they feel like oh i should have said this or oh i should have said that i missed saying this point or let me replace this word let me find a better word during the performance well if you're someone who wants to do it on the spot it is definitely going to affect your performance because all these questions should have been addressed while your practice sessions it only means that you have not practiced enough practice as much as you can if you go ahead and look at speakers public speakers or anyone who's addressing uh, any crowd or even mentors if you think they have not prepared you're wrong every single person prepares for their performance every single person prepares for every single thing the only difference is they become so natural they practice it multiple times that it becomes a part of their system so if you want to sound natural it's not that you will not rehearse or you will not uh, 
practice you have to rehearse to an extent that it becomes a part of you it becomes so natural that it doesn't look robotic and being natural does not come from practice being natural comes from adding emotion to it rehearse your gestures rehearse your body language rehearse every single thing that you're going to do it to an extent that it becomes a part of your personality and you don't even have to think about what you're saying it comes out of you naturally like you've aced a skill and it just happens on its own if you're someone who has a fear of rejection well every single person has some fear of rejection but what is a hindrance here is your negative mindset you keep telling yourself negative things while at that point in time you need to actually tell positive things to yourself have you ever imagined if before an interview if you have an argument with someone or somebody tells you something really mean it really affects you and your performance might also get affected because it has affected your mindset and thinking very quickly in the same manner it is you who's causing that hindrance to yourself don't tell yourself ne negative things like oh what if the recruiter is not very nice to me what if they don't like what i'm wearing or what if i don't do this or what if i don't do that they might not like me i will get rejected i will have to come back again and do all of these things again and again while instead at that point in time you need to remind yourself about the positive things think and visualize success visualize that you've already cleared the first round and you are going to be invited for the second round visualize that your recruiter is going to compliment you visualize success visualize that you've already made it and you are already preparing for the journey to basically preparing for that job once you've already gotten it so don't go ahead and think about negative things remind yourself about positive things positive things about yourself how people have appreciated you think about positive stories positive reactions positive expressions from the person you're going to talk to and do not indulge in any negative thinking at this point in time last but not the least the fears of what others will think about you this is also very common and you must have heard a lot of people telling you if you keep on thinking what others will think about you then what will they actually think let them think whatever they want to think about you i know it is easier said than done but let's address why do this why does this thing happen to us let's address why does this happen to us in the first place this is because we have a very high stakes on for this job high stakes mean our problem is that this is the only option we have in our life this is the only career we choose and we've not had options have some options in your life have some more interviews go ahead and line up mock interviews if you want go ahead and give interviews as many interviews as you can so you become comfortable with the idea of rejection as well as giving interviews trust me it's going to be a very good learning experience for you altogether because if it is the only job that you have in hand and you've been trying enough for it or you uh, cannot imagine a rejection if you don't have the power of walking away and taking the rejection as a learning experience it is only going to affect you mentally and create a lot of fear within you it is going to create a hindrance in your performance every time you go for an interview because you associate your interviews to rejection and the pressure that is created in your mind because this is your only option and you don't have time and you have to make it that pressure that external pressure is definitely affecting your performance and it could even mean that you will never get selected because of that pressure that is building on you with the name of interview so have the power of walking away have the power to tell yourself that it is fine if you don't make it and if it's okay if you're getting rejected because you already have another job in hand or if you have another option in hand if this doesn't happen then you'll go for this have a plan b for that matter have a plan b c d whenever you have options in your life your stress your focus your stakes or that you put in that one option or one dream job becomes automatically very less and that reduces that anxiety that fear that pressure that you face every single time when you go for an interview so have options have plan b c d and give as many interviews as you can yes do not just have one goal have multiple plans have multiple backup options these are the fears and these are the ways to cope up with uh, these fears which will automatically help you curb your nervousness and make you a uh, more confident trust me these are the problems that even i have struggled with and i have used the same strategies and tips that i've shared with you this has helped many of my students 
students and aspirants around the world so if you think you are also struggling with this go ahead and give it a try i know it is going to take time but all you need is to take action and trust the process and that's all about it if you found this video helpful then do let me know in the comment section below and i will take it from there i will see you in my next video till then take care and bye bye